coast for a few weeks until a storm drove his fleet of four ships into a narrow channel between two massive rocks. Upon closer inspection, the French realized that these rocks were in fact piles of petrified driftwood. Iberville put two and two together. He'd stumbled upon the Palisades on his map, a pass at the mouth of the Mississippi River. Iberville spent the spring of 1699 exploring upriver. He was searching for a suitable place to establish a settlement, but didn't have much luck. The riverbanks were choked with thick cane breaks, and beyond that the land was fetid and swampy. Reports from the local Bayagula Indians didn't inspire much confidence. They had seasonal camps in the area for hunting, fishing, and trade, but this soggy ground just wasn't conducive to permanent human habitation. Iberville made it 200 miles upstream, where his men found a grisly red pole on the riverbank, adorned with fish heads and bare bones, marking the boundary between the Bayagula's hunting grounds and those of the Homa Nation. This was a hilly area, a 